We can run, but we cannot hide when it comes to presenting. I know. I did a lot of running away for the longest time. Eventually, however, our career trajectory propels us to presenting in front of others. Are we properly understanding that we need to be ready to go rather than reactive? Welcome back to this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Cunningham Training Japan, and two-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our studio and the High Performance Center in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 48, and we are talking about stop being scared to death when presenting. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment, be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience. Everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the high impact presentations course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy. Japan Business Mastery, now. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Stop being scared to death when presenting. Hands and legs quivering, knees knocking, face turning red, pulse racing, mind widening out. This is stage fright. Our work responsibilities are rewarded with a salary increase, but also the obligation to give reports or speeches. We are innocently beavering away at our jobs, are recognized for doing well, and given promotions or more responsibility. Tetsuya Miyaki is a typical example. He was a low-level bureaucrat in a municipal government office promoted to become the head of a department, he suddenly found himself having to give public presentations, including to the municipal assembly. When he became the mayor of a city ward, the speech requirement exploded, and so did his stress. This is what happens to us. With no thought for the future, We plough along, working hard, looking for the rewards, but forgetting the escalation of expectations that go together with that. I was the same. I had no vision of what the future would require. Eventually, I gave my first public speech. It was in Tokyo, late 1983, in Japanese. It was horrible. I was supposed to talk for 30 minutes, but I finished in eight minutes. My nerves were severely ramping up my speaking speed. I read the whole thing, never looked up at my victims, didn't smile, had no pauses, no gestures, no animation, except high blood pressure, giving me a big red face like a warning beacon. When I took the high-impact presentations course, with Dale Carnegie, 
It was such a revelation. I just kicked myself for all of the opportunity costs I paid by not doing this course when I was younger. I was an idiot. I could have spent decades polishing my speaking skills, growing my potential, rather than hiding from the opportunity. I could have ramped up my personal brand big time if I'd even been half smart and gotten the training. Don't be stupid like me. Get the training. If you are going to get anywhere in your career, you will need this facility to not just speak competently in front of an audience, but to speak persuasively. It is not a matter of if, only a matter of when. Thank you for watching this episode. And remember to hit the subscribe button. The Japan Business Mastery Show is here to help you navigate your way around business in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Hit the little bell icon for automatic new episode notifications. Our website details are on screen now. enjapan.dalecarnegie.com Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show helped and what other topics you're interested in for me to cover. Just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesdays for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday we have the Business Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday we have the Business Pro Podcast. Fridays we have the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays we have Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, on Mondays, we release our other TV shows, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's on YouTube. Every second Thursday, we have the Business Pro Telebi Show. Fridays, every Friday, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every Saturday, we have Japan's top business interview show. These are all available on YouTube. In episode 49, we are talking about super important soft skills. Onigai itashimasu. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we want, isn't it? Japan business mastery. 